um, you know, this uh, book where it was referenced you had a, made a woman have an abortion? Um, to be very honest, um, it's a sensitive conversation that the reason why I didn't do no media run or press around it is because I know I might lose um, how I would like to present what I feel about it. Mm -hmm. So normally, what I've, this is not the first time. I've done records to address certain issue or maybe a line or two in a record just to, because I don't know, there's certain energy I, I hate to feed into, mm -hmm. especially speaking about it, because I might lose my cool. So... With this situation, yes, exactly. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm super proud of everything. It's just in the moment how I felt. Whether it be my truth, there should have been a way that uh, you could have said it. That's why I don't like to speak about it because mm -hmm. um, this is a conversation between two people, but then we could have a conversation if, if you want to talk about it because it involves me as well. Right. But because people know the SAC doesn't speak, you know, people think they can say something and no SAC is not going to speak and then right. it's going to get away with it. Yeah. You know? So once in a while... You know, you just let them poke the bear. Yeah, poke the bear. And because yeah. I'm the same way, if people talk crazy about me, I don't like to address things because I feel like it gives it way more life. Exactly. And I see people do it all the time. And instead of me engaging in a back and forth, I'm like, you know what? Go ahead. I'm gonna just keep on doing my thing and not let anybody knock me off my square. True. But this time, you said you not only it wasn't a line or two. <laughs> I mean, so I want to know it's a whole record. who did you let hear this first? Was anybody in the studio that's, with you when you did this? That's what's funny. I Please. did not. My, my team is here. They're all like people think my team is in support of what I did or the, the record. None mm -hmm. of them knew I, I did the record because I was on tour. I'm actually on tour when it happened. Yes. So, um, and sometimes when I feel something, then the lyrics is gonna come right there and then. So um, I sneaked into the studio to even record this. I didn't let <laughs> nobody hear it because I didn't want to hear no advice. Right. I just literally want to do what I felt at that mm -hmm. point. Um, yeah, and face the consequences later on. But it wasn't like the whole team sat down and said, this is good to go. I right. did it personally for myself. They probably was like, what are you doing? I can imagine those phone calls and yes, text messages. A lot of, a lot of phone calls. Um, so in, in the heat of the moment, the person that I didn't hear from, which normally she would have been the first person to hit me is my lawyer. Mm -hmm. So um, early morning, I was like, I was trying to tease her. And I said, Mama C, so don't you care about what's happening? Because you would hit me up and say, what are we doing? But the sad news is she was dead at the same time. What? You know? Yeah. So just I see two texts go. I didn't hear. Of course, she would respond like within five minutes. Wow. It took hours. And then I heard she she's no more. So oh just within God, that period, that's it was awful. like very, very tough time within that short I'm period. so sorry to hear that. Uh, mm. Good. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Ooh, yeah, so she, a, she would have been somebody who I know wouldn't endorse that um, that situation of how I wanted to handle it. But I just felt like it. Like this, I normally don't mm -hmm. do it, but this, mm -hmm. to me, I think I'll, I'll get to a point where I can speak freely about it. I think mm -hmm. it's still... It's, it's still, still fresh mm -hmm. that I still want to process it before I can really mm -hmm. speak. You know, and this is something that happened year like a really long time ago. Yeah. yeah, so this is something that she brought back up. And then I know in interviews you don't even really like to address things like this, but since you put the song out, mm -hmm. out and it felt like somebody leaked it first. Yes. And so maybe you didn't even intend exactly. to put it out. Okay, that's what I was exactly. thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're like, well, it's here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in the middle of the night, just get, okay. where I was, it was like very late, at, I think 2 a.m. And then I see Twitter going crazy and people putting out the record. Oh, so, dang. I, I have no idea because I didn't give it to... So I have like two, three people that I don't want to suspect. You know, right. It's going to create some energy because I, right. I, I did it just to hold on to it and, mm -hmm. and see if I'm going to release it. But then when it came out, I was like, let me just let me just put it out. Yeah. Do you do that often? Like something goes on and you're like, let me just do a song about it and then yes. kind of put it away. Like a, kind of like a getting something off your chest diary because you do come from that school of mm -hmm. rap battling. Exactly. So when something makes you mad, I could see you instead yeah. of writing it down, you might just be like, yeah. let me just go in the booth and do something. Yeah. I express myself well when I do music. Mm -hmm. I think I, I say the best um, if I do music, if I speak about it, um, I don't know if I'm a good person that express himself well. Right. I can talk about my life or whatever, but there's certain situations I know that I might lose my cool. Things I'm very passionate about, it's hard for me to speak about it because right. I've been lost. Even in the thought, I'll be all over the place. Uh, conversations like even talking about uh, my people and how our music and how we're supposed to survive and do this. I care so much about it that when I speak about it because of the passion and emotions I have for it, I might not be able to get to the point. 
But when I do a record, I have time to really say exactly what I want to say. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So when something happens, I feel like, let me just do a record or... Most people are lucky. Sometimes it will be a line or two in a verse. <laughs> a little, yeah, a but, little stab. But if I do a whole right. joint for you, that, then that means a uh, few times I've done that. I think it's, this is the second time I've done like a record on one particular situation. That should tell you that this non-living is... Non-living thing? Non-living thing? Oh, it wasn't... It's a similar situation, but it's, it's not exact. Right. I mean, it was a heartbreak type yes, of... Yes, because I faced that uh, some and, time ago. And it feels like that was about a particular person or... And situation. Um, I don't think so because okay. I, don't, I didn't. With try me, um, I knew what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Not living, then I didn't. Okay. But then you can see yourself that something is creeping in that you don't know that that's what you're talking about. I don't okay. Know if you, get that. you were just expressing emotion, and then, and then it was kind of bringing up feelings. Yes, exactly. Of and then a breakup. That's gonna creep into it because mm-hmm. right. what I was saying was exaggerated. I've not faced that before, but okay. there are similar things in there that I've seen. Mm-hmm. But so that wasn't like towards so, anybody. Okay. So there's a funny story. I did a which never came out. I did a whole project um, around a time where I had a situation with this girl that we we broke up, and I didn't know how bad it creeped into my creativity because the whole album was towards me speaking about